I had actually a few other things in there because that's just the sample page. But that's essentially what we did. So I could have my client directions to clients. I could have a business directory. If you click on business directory, this is just a sample here. It's actually a plugin called business directory. But I had it available only to my staff. And wow, that internet is slow. I had it only available to my staff, and we had two categories, clients and suppliers. So who do we contact for pens and liquid paper, and who do we contact for, well, old school, and now we're accountants. So who do we contact for, uh, what's our client list? What are their addresses? Because we go on site for all of our clients. So a map for all of our clients, because the business directory, if you put in the address of the business, will bring up a little Google map thing that points where it is. Right? So we had all the information we needed for all of our clients that no one else can access because it's right there on our website for my staff to see. And that eliminated a lot of back and forth. When I wanted to share news with the team, hey, we just landed this really big contract, that's awesome, I created a post. And I had a page that would just show blog posts, a gallery of some sort, and the pages, and it would only show up the categories that were staff. And that specific page, only staff could log in and see. It was fantastic. So we could all share news, and they could share news on that page as well. We could share information. I could put in new pro, okay, we've implemented a new process. What's the process? The process was posted up there for everyone to see forever and beyond that was on our team. Yes? How do you restrict the page that's your staff? I use the plugin called Member. And I created a user post because you can create user roles as opposed to just editor, subscriber, um, user. I could create specific user roles. So I created one called staff. And once they log in, so once you have those users created and you go on a page to create a page or a post, you say make visible to only specific users, any user you've created with other plugins are actually going to show up there. Right? So now that the users are created and it's in my WordPress database, I can select that on my pages and make those pages available only to those people. And when I fire them, when I fire them, I just change their access or remove their access completely so they no longer have access to our tools. We use custom spreadsheets for all of our clients. Uh, and if you want to click on... Um, I'm going to give you an uh, No, it's not going to be on there. Okay, so I had some, some, some spreadsheets, and I just had the links to all of them because they're hosted on our website. I said, these are the new tools you're using, effective immediately. It, does your client have HSD? Is your client doesn't have HSD? What are the tools you're going to use? What are the custom templates we're going to use for all of our stuff? It was all there. And if I change a template, all I had to do was delete the file from my WordPress and upload a new one. And that was it. Or even just leave it there, upload the new one, and put the link to the right file. It was so easy to share things. So some of the ways I like, some of the business processes that I like to simplify with my website, and if you can go to sample networking, networking follow-up and list building. It's not sample, it's the last one on that list. You guys can all access this actually right now if you go to hotmessconsulting.info slash PCTO. Until WordCamp in Ottawa in May, the link will be PCTO, so you can go look at it um, and look at the samples and see what it can do. So everybody loves free shit, right? So we all have this free shit offering for our clients. So I'm talking with Anne at a networking event, and I find out that you know she needs bookkeeping help, and I have this free tax guide I can send her. Uh, but maybe Anne doesn't have a business card because she just started her business; she doesn't really even think it's a business yet. And I said, "Well, you know, I'm going to send you this tool; it can be really helpful." So I go on my phone, and it's not this page, but let's pretend it's called Networking Follow-up List Building because that's really easy to write when you're on the go. So I'm going to go to my website slash, you know, my awesome ass networking follow-up page. And I'm going to have this form here. And it says, it was great to connect. So I'm going to say, what's your name, Anne? Okay, what's your email, Anne? And I give it to her. And, and um, anyone want a tax guide? Anyone's got their phone on them and wants a tax guide? Is it the blogger one? Yes. 
Yes. All right, so Holly, um, give Anne your email address, and she's going to send it to you. Within a, like, within a minute, your phone's going to be. Holly, H-O-L-L-I-E, B at live.ca. P at live.ca. Yeah. That's a comma. Yeah. All right, so Holly's going to get, within a minute, her phone's going to be, and it's going to say, hey, it was great to connect. Um, I, you know, it was great to connect. Here's a link to my uh, to my tax guide. If you don't learn anything new, coffee is on me. And then with my name and signature. Yes. What do you use uh, in the back end for that? Like that's a Visual Form Builder Pro, which is a custom form. Yeah, the link. What sends it to her? It's when you when you create. That's the thing. Yeah. I was, was going to show you what it does. Oh, and you might want to just go back. Yeah, I did that. I did. Reset the settings on this one. Oh. No, just just click back. Oh. Click back. So when you create a custom form, you can say, okay, what's the information I want? Name and email address, and then you can go in the confirmation. Um, and give me a sec. I'm just gonna log in because I was gonna show this. I was gonna open here. I'll show you on my computer. I'm logged in. You go into your dashboard and you collect, click on the plugin, add a new form, like you would add a new page, add a new anything. Yeah. WordPress.org. WordPress okay. You may be able to find similar things on .com. I don't know what the fuck, like how much is actually available, but this is for self-hosted websites. So I go in to add a new form and I can customize everything I want and I can say, okay, so send a confirmation email to, to, the, the, to the email address that you just put in. And you know, with my HTML tags and everything, I add in my email with my signature, my logo, everything, the link to the tax guide. So as soon as I click enter, submit, it sends that email out to the client and I get an email saying, it was great to connect. Oh, this new thing has been added. So what have I done? Just by putting in her name and email address after a networking event, I have now sent her the free shit that I wanted to send her. I have now created an opportunity for ongoing conversation by saying, if you don't learn anything, the coffee's on me. If you need anything or have any other questions, call me. Right, so I've now just sent that call to action to her. Her name and email address have now been added into a spreadsheet on the back end of my website, because it's in the database, that I can then upload into my constant contact, MailChimp, etc. All I had to do was put in the name and email address. So we come back for our networking event, we go through all our business cards, when you do actually go through them. Follow up, follow up, follow up, follow up. Oh, custom email, right? I need to write something else to this person and ignore. So if I have... 10 business cards, I'm going to say, oh, it was great to connect, awesome to see you at this networking event, here's the link to my free shit, call me, blah, 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 Angel, send. 
oh, and so on and so on for the 10. Sometimes maybe you're, like at, you know, you're at a conference and you meet 50 people you're going to send that out to? Hell no. I was spending way too much time writing emails. This way, I'm writing the same damn email anyways, so it's going to send it out. Now, maybe with Anne, you know, she was mentioning something more specific. You know, maybe I want to, I, I built a better, a bigger connection with Anne, and there's more of a relationship there. Well, obviously, I'm not going to use that. I'm going to actually go in and write an email, or I'm going to say, you'll get an email in your mailbox with my link to my free shit, and I'll send you an email to follow up about X that we're talking about. The customer is happy, or the client, or the potential contact is happy. They just got their free shit. They don't have to work for it. And you've now done everything else you need to do to follow up with that person until you send them your newsletter, which will be uploaded from the spreadsheet you just created without even having to work for it. So that's one of the things I use. Uh, it's Visual Form Builder Pro. Um, on the hotmessconsulting.info slash PCTO, the link to that plugin is there. Um, if you go to sample, uh, sample it was great to connect. This is my page right now up on my website because it's the beginning of the year. So everyone that has the spread that bought the spreadsheet system I have for them in the past. There's new spreadsheets available. So I have to send them all an email saying the new spreadsheets are ready for you to download. Now, I don't have money, not that I have money. I'm very cheap, and I don't want to spend money on a customer management, project management system that would do this automatically for me. Because I'm cheap. And because my husband needs his money. <laughs> and I still need to buy groceries and diapers and feed the kids and put the kids in clothing and you know, I'm still contributing quite a bit. So if you scroll down, and I went again in the custom forms. And the ultimate shoe box has been updated. Name, email, product code, <coughs> submit. So it now sends an email. I have set it up. Then it sends an email to my client saying, hey, by the way, the ultimate shoe box you bought three years ago has been updated again. Your Spreadsheets are ready for download. Click here to go download them. Here's the product code that you need to download them. Boom. I have about 300 people right now who have bought this in the past three years. Do I want to be sending out 300 emails? Not really. But I can spend half an hour name, email, product code and put it all in because that's easy and be done with it and move on with my day. Now I have some bloggers who have a very similar set of spreadsheet, but specifically for bloggers. So then I go through my blogger list that I have purchased this or that I've given over the years. Name, email, product code. Boom. Done. Uh, scroll down again. I have my, it was great to connect because that's always on that page. And scroll back up. Now, in this case here, um, when I go to the States, I am connecting with brands, um, and I want to create, I want to get more information from them because I follow up with them differently. So instead of adding in all that information into my Outlook that I then need to export into my vertical response, that I might want to then export also to a spreadsheet just to have some sort of log somewhere, I put everything in here. Because I'm usually not contacting them from my web, from Outlook anyways. Um, and if I am, I don't keep contact in my Outlook because I don't have them on my phone. Because I'm cheap and it doesn't, doesn't connect that way. So I just put in all of their information and boom, everything I need to know is now in a spreadsheet. And I can do anything I want with that spreadsheet. I can upload it anywhere. So this saves me a crap ton of money and a lot of time, and it makes it really, really easy to follow up when I need to follow up with people. And if you go to the main page again, Maxima so Manage, yeah, that one is. Is the spreadsheet only a form of your pro? It comes as part of the No, you're like, it, like, you can export it. Like, I'm sure there's other custom form plugins that do that. It's just, 
it, it, everything, all the information ends up being stored in your website's database, but you can export that information to CSV. So essentially you're exporting it to Excel. Which you can do anything you want with it once it's there. So a few things that you can do. You can build an intranet type environment for your staff. You can build maybe even a client portal. If you can assign users, maybe if you don't have a huge user base and you want your, uh, like a huge client base, but you want um, to have, you want your clients to have access to certain things, links to projects that you're working on, stuff you've created for them, etc. You could go in using the same plugin members and create a user called My Awesome Ass Client. Don't call it that, but you could. Um, and this one client here, because maybe this is a more involved project, you want them to have access to certain things, create a page for client X, and you can only view it if you're an admin or if you're logged in as My Awesome Ass Client. And then you can view all the information about the project, maybe some time tracking, you can do just about anything with that. Um, I have seen time tracking plugins, start time and time. You can even put that on the staff page. You want your staff to track their time and you want to have <coughs> access to it, but you don't want to pay, or maybe you can't pay for a project management system, and you don't want them all to have you don't want to buy 10 QuickBooks licenses, because you can do it in QuickBooks, but you don't want to have 10 QuickBooks licenses so that you're all logged into your company account all at the same time. Oh. So you just go in and add some sort of a time tracker onto your staff page. Each staff has their own page. They have to start time, start end time. Boom, it's done and you have the information. You can schedule shifts. Now, I, I was going to show you guys this, but it wasn't playing well with other stuff on my website. So I removed it, but it's a shift scheduler. It has your whole month, you create shifts. Is it a nine to five, is it a seven to three, is it? Maybe you have a small store. I have a client, she's got the small gift shop type store in the middle of nowhere. So obviously she's not gonna be spending a lot of money on certain, uh, you know, on a, on a point of sale, on different tools. So she uses that. And she's got all her shifts are put in, and she sends it out to, uh, she had, well, she'll sign out a link saying, you know, the, the schedule's been updated. Go sign in and look at it. And who can look at it? The people who are signed in as staff. You can schedule clients. Oh, that was the one. Um, sample client, no client scheduling. So I have about 30 recurring appointments each month. Again, another email I have to send in or that my scheduling coordinator has to send in saying, You've been scheduled in for this date, this time. If it doesn't work for you, please send us two or three dates and times that do will get you set up. Please confirm if this works or not. Lots of love or whatever else she wants to say. Harriet, she's my scheduling coordinator. I don't want to be paying her uh, a lot of money to spend three hours sending all these confirmation emails. So instead, I go in my Outlook, I print out a list of my appointments that are already in my calendar, I send her that list, and I say, I want you to send emails to those people. She and I are the only ones who have access to this specific page, the real one. So she puts in name, email, the date, click on date. This again is with Visual Form Builder. I don't work for them, by the way, I just love their plugin. <laughs> um, so you pick the date, and then you pick the time, and send email, and the email sends out, it's got the logo, and it, like, it looks like an email that I would have sent through Outlook, except for the link of where it comes to, comes from. And she'll spend maybe 15 minutes doing this. And then she can move on to doing other stuff, like invoicing my clients so that we can have money, right? Speaking of invoicing clients, maybe you don't wanna go into QuickBooks, maybe you don't wanna pay for FreshBooks, or all of the other, there's great tools out there, but. Again, sometimes depending on budget or depending on um, how you feel about where you want to spend your money, maybe you have the money, but you have other priorities, or you just don't want to pay the money for those types of tools, you can actually create client invoices in QuickBooks, and you send it out to the client. So if you click on it, I don't know what it's going to do. Oh, look at that, it didn't work. That's a user error. I was doing that right before. Come back up, back up. <laughs> I was working on this right before coming in because um, I use QuickBooks, obviously. So this um, 
But if you embed it properly, it comes up with an invoice that you can send your client. That's a invoice? Pardon me? The invoice in the Yes, it's, uh, I think it's WordPress invoicing. Yeah, it's WordPress invoice. Yeah, yes. Oh, I have Angora. Is there, oh, gosh, did I come up with it there? Your income tax. It's not there. Go to new tab. And shoeboxgo.com slash income dash tax dash questionnaire. I have an income tax, because I do tax returns, I have an income tax questionnaire that asks everything that I might want to need to know to do their taxes. So all the basic information, what kind of deductions do they have? Not necessarily, in, there, there's an option to upload documents to send, them their, to send me a picture of their T4s or their T5s or, or anything else. What's called income tax? Dash questionnaire. Thing. Oh, there you go. So this is actually a four-page. If you go down, you'll see this is actually a four-page form. So once you fill in everything here, you can't actually move forward to the next page until you've entered in all the information. But see, one of four. So then once you've actually put in all of the required stuff, you can go to next and next and next until they completed all four pages. There's not required stuff on all four pages. The rest is mostly extra information I might want to be asking for. And it gives me everything I need to know. So if they tell me they've got medical expenses, they've already clicked on medical expenses, so I know to ask for that. And I know what to ask to make sure they haven't missed anything. So it's a great tool for me and my staff to make sure we haven't missed anything on the client. So once I've done that, I click Submit. This one here, doesn't send an email to the client. I've got to set up and send an email to me. So now I have in my email box, permanently, an email with all of my client's information. So whether I'm working on the fly, or I'm at home in bed working, I have access to the information that I need in order to do my work. And as entrepreneurs, a lot of times we're not necessarily working at our office, you know, in the spare bedroom. I mean, we, we work from everywhere. If I want to check to make sure I didn't miss something, or I'm on the phone, the client has a question maybe about one of those things, I have the email with me wherever I am. And in case that email ever got deleted, that's now also saved in my website's database, which is also exportable to CSV, because I use this with Visual Form Builder. So I can export it to Excel, and worst case scenario, I have a permanent record of everything I have. But how easy is that than to try and create a Word document, add in form fields, or save as PDF, find out that your form fields didn't transfer over, go back in your PDF, start over again. When I was original, when I started originally, I spent maybe about five hours, because I, I didn't know what I was doing, but I spent five hours creating a form that I could send my clients. And then half the time, they didn't know how to fill it out. Ugh. Like, well, I don't see, it's not showing up. No, it's not showing up because you didn't put anything in that field yet. Like, I have to click. You know, it was just, oh, I have so much support. No, 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 no. I have no time for this. I'm a busy person. So this way here, I implemented this about a year and a half ago. Oh my gosh. And my clients are happy. Now, it's not on this page right now, but there is plugins that you can use if you don't have SSL. There are plugins you can use to put in SSL on one specific page. So, and then you choose which pages you want it on. On, this is my main website. On one page I have make a payment. And it's a credit card form. And I have, you know, and the credit card number should show up as four different boxes, not one box. And, you know, I've got all the information I need. And click here as a check mark and then add in your name. And this will count as your signature. And do you want to add this for recurring billing for other transactions in the future or not? So then all the information I have is there. So when I'm on the road, I've finished a job, 
email the reports to the client, but maybe I'm at the airport because I'm speaking somewhere, I can then go in to my submissions on my website and go look at the credit card number and the CSV code and the expiry date. And then I go on my phone and my little Give me an idea of what it is that you think you would want to do with the website and we'll try and figure out together how you can do it. Real quick and easy. You were the first one who wanted chocolate. Me? Yeah. Oh, um, what would you want to do I to simplify your business? To simplify my business, just build a website for myself for services that I can provide, which is internet marketing. No, but is there a business process that you would want to simplify oh, but oh, use yeah. it? Uh, that we haven't covered. The email marketing, I just don't understand that. Like, I, I get the form, so is, is that, uh, is that uh, app sending the email to the people, or do you have another, do you have something like MailChimp or something else? I do, but then I, I use that as um, list building, so putting in my list. Okay. And then I import that list into my MailChimp or vertical response. But this is just an easy way for me, and I can be on the fly. I can be meeting with Anne at a networking event and she doesn't have a business card. And on the fly, I can put in her information and I know it's now been uploaded into my site, which now ends up on my spreadsheets. Yes? Okay, so people subscribe to my site and then they get something, they get like a takeaway for subscribing to yes. the site. How do we do that? The, it was great to connect. Uh, go back to the other one, to the hot mess. And go to sample, it was great to connect. Or even networking follow-up and list building. So on that, all I put in, oh, this is when they have subscribed? Yeah, they subscribe to the site, and then the site sends them You create a form. Okay. And the form, and then you embed that form on any page on your website, wherever it is you want them to, to go. You put in name, email address, whatever other information you want to collect from that client. You know, and access your free shit. And when you set up the email or the form, you set it up that it sends a confirmation to the client with either an attached spreadsheet, an attached form, a link to download. So when you click on the link, it actually brings up like the PDF or whatever it is. So they have to enter where this, you know, how it says subscribe. They have to enter yep. their email in that, and then another thing opens up. And no, they, they get the email. And from their email, they click on the link and they download the free ship. Or you can have it redirect to a page where the free ship's right there for them to download. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what plugin is that? That's all visual form builder. That's Most of everything I've, I've shown you, and this, these are all tools I use in my business day to day to day. And it's all visual form builder. <laughs> Any other custom forms might be able to do that as well. Um, I don't know. I don't want to hit you in the head with these smarties. Oh. Um, yes. Okay. Then you need chocolate. I need chocolate. I'm just gonna answer the questions. I don't know whether your son's here is here telling us to get chocolate. I have a website that's being rebuilt. Yeah. I will have and hopefully several hundred clients, which I would like to be able to invoice once a year. Um, so it. So then you'll get you step A, B, C. So your step, if you want to just invoice them once a year, the WordPress invoice plugin, WordPress invoice plugin, and then you just go in and create your invoices once a year, and it sends it out to the client. Okay, so we're not talking about getting a form on a page. I'm sorry. I'm not for that one. No, it's like this. A lot of the processes I've shown you on different things you can do to simplify the processes in your business or just streamline them, I use with forms. But you want to send an invoice, I want to send it, you just Google, I want to send an invoice with WordPress plugin. Okay. okay. And you will come up, I mean, WordPress invoice is one of them, there's some premium ones okay. that you have to pay for, there's some free ones, but it, the okay. page will show you. Thank you. So anything really, you, I'll get to your, you, you, and then Holly, and then you, real quick. Um, anything you want to do, just Google, I want to do this WordPress plugin, and chances are you'll get a list of stuff you can do. Yes. Mary, Mary Kay Paris. Yes. You had a question? Okay. Back there. That invoicing feature you talked about. Yes. Can you do the I believe you can set recurring, but I don't use that plugin, so I I believe you can, but look it up. I do. Um, and well Holly does, you can talk to her after. <laughs>
Give me two seconds. You had a question? Instead of sending the email, maybe somebody wants to inter be interacted with from Twitter or be posted to their Facebook or something else. Can, can that do that? Um, just about, you can do anything. Some of my stuff, it redirects to a new page. Some of my, you can redirect to Twitter. You can redirect to Facebook. You can redirect to a different page on your website. You can, this is just with the forms. But anything you want to do, I want to have my client do this, WordPress plugin. Be as specific as you can with your sentence, you will find tools in most cases. There is nothing I have searched for yet that I have not found a tool for. Because I did a lot of research for this presentation. Yes? You mentioned calendars and scheduling. Yeah. That's obviously not the... Uh the form builder. What do you use for the calendar? Can you build? You can build a calendar. You can build a calendar. I know there's editorial calendars. There's different types of calendars or shift builders you can build. Um, I use this to send an email with their what their schedule time is. But uh, there are calendar plugins as well that you can use. Absolutely. And you just you know you go play around with them and see what works best for you. Yes. Yeah. I was use well. I, I was playing around with it earlier, but it wasn't. I don't use it. I don't have staff right now, um, so I don't use it now. And before I didn't really. I only had two people, and they worked from home. I was playing around with it, but it wasn't playing well with some of my other plugins. So I uninstalled it. But you can choose like what your shifts are: add people, add staff, remove staff. It looked really cool, actually. It's called Shift Builder. It's called Shift Builder. Yes. Instead of giving it for free, say you can look at this page for a month for two dollars or whatever, and they're buying a subscription. Member, member, member. You can set user rules. You can set access, limited time access, remove the access. There's also privacy content, privacy. So, so just you know, uh, I want to build a subscriber-based website with different levels. There was the privacy content, I believe. You could schedule, you could put in, um, or was it WP member? It was one of the two. You could say, I want, you know, they've paid for level A is free, level B is A and B, and level C is A, B, C, and you could select that and upgrade them, downgrade them automatically. So there's, you know, you just have to look at what the plugins are and see what kind of options it's gonna give you to play around with them. Pink shirt. Um, I'm not sure. Like, I know you can manually add roles and manage it. For the invoicing, I'm not sure exactly how that one works. I know it's an option. Go ask Polly if you have a question about invoicing afterwards, because she uses it. I'm not sure how it plays, how it works, because I don't use it. I just know that it's an option and that you can do that with your website. I'm just curious how much you paid for the, the visual form. <laughs> I paid 10 bucks. <laughs> And then they came out last year with some add-ons. And in order to get like the white background instead of like the basic ugly gray form, I paid 15 bucks for the form designer. I have five websites, it's on all my five websites. You have no idea how much I have. I think I'm down to like one hundredth of a cent per use at this point. Like it's ridiculous. It's ridiculously cheap. It's the best 10 bucks I've ever spent in my business. Even the 15 I spent for the add-on. The best ten bucks I've ever spent. It's they do have a free version as well. You just don't have as much um, like from when it comes to like privacy and there's different things. You don't have as many options to the types of form fields you can add. But I mean the the premium one. I mean it's for ten bucks. I'm cheap and I bought it. So. <laughs> yes. These are independent that write plugins and make them available for the general public. Some are paid, some are free. But these are just people that love WordPress, build plugins. You can do anything you want with these things. It's fantastic. Yes? I'm not sure if they have an upgrade or premium. I didn't really play around with it that much. Um, I do know that I was able to download without paying. 
Um, so I'm, I'm guessing that there is a free version, and there's probably a premium feature. And uh, this is self-hosted. Self-hosted, yes. Yes, in the back. Yeah. You should get QuickBooks. Okay. But I can help you with that too. <laughs> that gets more complicated. You really, I'll get you in a second. You really should be using um, QuickBooks or something else like that. I'm offering that. Okay. All right. Anyone has any questions? Uh, come talk to me, send me an email, uh, tweet me at Shoebox Be Gone, Facebook at Shoebox Be Gone, email me, you can email WTF at Shoebox Be Gone, I would get it anyways. Just send me an email or come talk to me, I'm here for the rest of the day. I'd love to talk with you, see what your ideas are. You can access these page, hotmessconsulting.info slash PCTO until May, at which point it will be changed to WordCamp or something like that. So... Have fun, have a great day. Anyone wants to talk with, come see me.